This is Sol Johnson on Hands-On Lab 7.1, backing up the router configuration. So you want to go into your router, and we'll just use router A for right now. And basically you log in and type copy run TFTP. And then you type in an address, like ours would be something like... Uh, 172.16.30.2 and then press enter and and in our case we're going to do dash config without the i and basically you just press enter to let it do its thing and back it up to your TFTP server. And our next lab will be Hands-On Lab 7.2 using the Cisco Discovery Protocol or CDP. And here we're going to do Enable and we're going to do Configure Terminal. And then once we're in there, we're going to do CDP Timer. Let's put a question mark. And I guess in Packet Tracer they don't have a CDP timer. So otherwise you type in something here like 90 or something like that. And it does show CDP on here. Let's find out what's going on. So CDP question mark. So yeah, they don't have the timer built into the Cisco Packet Tracer or it might not be in the generic router I'm using right now. So um, let's go ahead and end here and let's do show CDP and it's showing us the whole time value and advertisements and the packets that it sends every 60 seconds and let's just do show CDP with the question mark and it shows more commands that we can do And let's go ahead and do show CDP interface. And it's going to show us about all of our interfaces right now, which ones are up and which ones are down. And it's showing the showing the sending time right here. And let's go ahead and do show CDP entry. Star there we go and it'll show us everything there and this one's for all devices that they can see that relate to CDP in our case all we have is really just one at the moment that it shows right here thought yeah you know, actually two so we got two there's one right there and then the next step was to show CDP neighbors See, there it goes. It shows my two serial interfaces. And let's see, show CDP neighbors detail. Alright, so that shows us everything for the details of every single interface right here for CDP. Now, let's do our hands on lab 7.3 using Telnet. So, on this one, basically get in, use enable on our user uh, user mode and we go to a privilege exec mode and in privilege exec mode we'll be typing in telnet and then I will go ahead and type in my next interface which I don't have an ARP table set up so it probably won't go there but you never know we'll see yep so there we go I haven't set it up yet so I just set up only just the IP address and having it open. Actually, mine is uh, dot two, but of course it's not set up yet. So let's go ahead and we'll set that up. So basically, it's as simple as going into the other router and doing configure terminal, and then line VTY zero. You can do zero through four, 
some of them go 0 through 15. Uh, do password Cisco and login. In. in real life, you wouldn't do password, you'd probably do secret. But uh, for this example, that's all we need to do. So we'll do enable on our router A. And in here, let's go ahead and telnet into our other router. So it's going to be telnet 192.168.0.2. And there's our password, which I put Cisco. And now I'm in our other router here. All right, I'm going to press exit here. Let's do show sessions. It says no connections open. All right, and then now let's go ahead, instead of writing telnet, let's do 192.168.0.2. Automatically telnet's in. And there we go, so we're in that router. And then in order to get to, instead of being in router B right now, I want to go back to router A. I'm going to do control shift six. Of course, I might not work on on packet tracer. Just go ahead and do show sessions. Actually, we'll do show users. And there it goes. It shows the variable teletype, which line we're in, and how idle they've been from a location. And then we're going to go show sessions. It says no connections open. For some reason, it says in here it's supposed to say something, but it doesn't show anything. And now we're going to go ahead and on router A, I'm going to exit here because I want to connect into router C. And now I'm going to go ahead and connect to our router C. They really wanted us to do it with two connections open, but because the shortcuts won't work in Packet Tracer, it won't really let us do that. So here I'm connecting to router C. And I'm going to do enable, which I guess I haven't set a password on it. And the one thing I forgot to put was the configure terminal enable password Cisco in this case just a plain text password so when we're connected in here we should be able to do it now and I just type in Cisco and I'm in here now I can type in clear line and then basically 192.168.0.2 I guess it won't let me do it anyways. So open it would let me disconnect here. I'm trying to see all my lines if it would let me do any of them, but none of them it'll let me do. And that's that lab for these routers. And here's hands on lab seven dot four resolving host names. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my first router here and what they want me to do. is basically they want me to type in enable to get in and they want me to type in the word Todd and see it, it won't do it alright now we will go ahead and we'll type in IP host router B and I'll do one seven or 192.168.0.1 So, it doesn't seem like those commands work on Packet Tracer. 
let's see here. I might have to be They tell us here that we have to be in a configure terminal. So let's try it now. IP host router B 192.168.0.2 and then I'm going to do router C I'm going to do 1.3 actually 1.4 on that one and let's go type in ping router B and see they, they have it mixed up in the book here so let's go right here ping router B there we go, router C. So that was successful. Let's type in router C. There we go, it's letting us in. And on router C, I didn't put a an enable password on it. But, uh, all right, so on router C, I went ahead and enabled password Cisco. So now we should be able to do it now. So Cisco. So now we're in there. Now it wants us to type in show hosts. There we go. And because of packet tracer, I can't do more than one at, at a time right now. So it won't let me see each and every one of them. 